Hey Jonesies, I hope you all are doing well. Happy Monday to you all. So I just want to come in. I just want to have a little heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you guys because sometimes you don't feel like you know you don't want to talk on the phone, or sometimes you don't want to text, or you just you just want to do nothing, you know. And for the past couple of months, I have been like an emotional wreck. Some days I'm fine, and some days I'm just not fine. Um, some days I catch an attitude out of nowhere, and some days I'm just in here doing what I got to do, um, you know, painting and stuff like that. And I've been doing a lot of that to keep my mind focused, but it's like every time I get a quiet moment, I just get so emotional, and it's taking a toll because now I'm... I noticed that I have become an emotional eater. Um, when I get emotional like that, I find comfort in food. And I know I, I'm not the only one that it's happened to. It's happened to a lot of people out there. And it is what it is. This is that's where I'm at. But it's not food food. It's not like I'm eating um, McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or, or two plates of home-cooked meals. It's snacks. So basically, I'm just going to call myself, I'm an emotional snacker. And I've noticed that I've been dogging out these gummy bears like crazy, um, some potato chips. Just eating stuff that I don't normally eat like that, but excessively. And I have to stop it at some point. Um, but it's just that, you know, sometimes you don't want to talk to people that you know. And I know this may sound weird, but sometimes you just don't want to talk to any family about how you feel. Or you don't want to talk to any of your friends how you feel. Um, sometimes I just don't want to talk to people, period. <laughs> you know? And I'm not trying to be mean or I'm not trying to be a spiteful person. But it just, I'm going through my own madness right now. I'm just like, I'm like a, a mad woman right now. I'm going through something crazy um you know the article was out there about my brother and they did put the guy um that shot him and shot and killed him they did put his mugshot out there which i'm happy um that his justice has been served but it's also like a sad and mad moments um i'm sad because my brother is no longer with me he's no longer on this earth and I'm mad because somebody had the nerve to take his life. And it just, I just don't understand why people just can't, you know, do other things. And just why they have to just, the first thing they do is, is grab their gun, their handgun, and want to kill somebody. I, I would never understand that. So just, just a little conversation. Um, it's helping me actually talk to you about what's going on with me. Um... I've been like really in a snappy mood. I don't really like to talk to people like that. You know, I find myself, I do things on Instagram to make other people laugh, put videos out. But then I won't post for a few days or I'll talk to a couple of people and I won't talk for a while. I don't know. I'm just right now going through something. And I know at one point I will figure it out. But right now, my goal is to get this emotionally snack this emotional snacking stuff under control so um and i'm going to do that and that's a journey that i'm going to be willing to share with you guys um as a matter of fact maybe i just might do you know after my vlog is over for week of week i might just do a mental health check in you know weekly check in with you guys so that you know how i'm doing um and i think it will help me get over or help me at least deal with what's going on um it's just that i have become a person who i you know i used to trust i never used to trust a lot of people but then when you open your heart to trust people and they disappoint you and they let you down and they you know make you feel some type of way you you close up that door so right now i'm at a point where i don't trust a lot of people at all my that door is back closed the people that I know and trust now or just the people that I will continue to know and trust. I'm just not in a moment where I'm ready to, to open my heart to anybody in a friendly way. Because it always results of 
it getting hmm, not broken but disappointed you know what I'm saying so yes yeah, so, um that's it I just wanted to come and talk to you guys about that um if you know any ways to help me out with this emotion emotional snacking please feel free to let me know in the comment section like if you know anybody that went through this stuff or maybe I'm going through something else and can't identify it you know um talk to me in the comments let me know and and I'm gonna do on my end is I'm gonna make you know make a note of everything that I'm doing and what I'm eating and I'm just gonna cut it you know I, I can't go cold turkey because I think I would lose my mind but I'm going to cut it out um cut down from it get back into my exercise i'm gonna start back walking again because I, I was walking and then i had stopped so i'm gonna start back walking and taking care of myself because i have let myself go i really did i let myself go and i gotta get myself back under control so if you know any books or any channels or know someone on instagram that you know that it will, it will be helpful for me to you know listen to them talk and stuff like that about their issue let me know in the comment section or if you have any advice for me let me know in the comment section and i appreciate it i really do all right guys that's it and i'll talk to you later